This is Twit. We need to talk about this because okay. uh, it may be affecting us all. I think I used the word despicable when we first introduced this horrific pending legislation to our oh, audience. Earn it. Ugh. It's despicable because it's employing an underhanded backdoor means for attempting to force encryption companies to alter their technologies to make them subpoena compatible. Joshua Lund is a developer and spokesman for Signal, whom we've quoted a couple times in the past. Signal, as we know, is arguably the best and most securely designed end-to-end -end encrypted messaging solution. And not surprisingly, it's not only Zoom that has recently experienced a massive pandemic-driven adoption rush. In this context, Josh has recently spoken out about this Earn It Act, uh, and I wanted to share Signal's position on this. <clears throat> he, he writes, over the past several weeks, Signal traffic has gone through the roof. New users are signing up at unprecedented rates, and we've expanded our server capacity faster than ever anticipated. It means a lot to us that so many people are relying on Signal during this difficult time. When users check in on their families, share moments of solace, smile with their friends, or discuss sensitive health issues with their doctors, Signal's end-to-end -end encryption and privacy-preserving technology helps keep this information secure. At a time when more people than ever are benefiting from these protections, the Earn It bill proposed by the Senate Judiciary Committee threatens to put them at risk. COVID-19 has a sheltering in place, but we cannot quarantine our concerns. Broadly speaking, Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act protects online platforms in the United States from legal liability for the behavior of their users. In the absence of this protection, many of the apps and services that are crucial to the way the internet functions today may have never been created in the first place, or they couldn't have been created in America. The Earn It Act turns Section 230 protection into a hypocritical bargaining chip. At a high level, what the bill proposes is a system where companies have to earn Section 230 protection by following a set of designed by committee best practices, he has in quotes, that are extraordinarily unlikely to allow end-to-end -end encryption. Anyone who doesn't comply with these recommendations will lose their Section 230 protection. Some large tech behemoths could hypothetically shoulder the enormous financial burden of handling hundreds of new lawsuits if they suddenly became responsible for the random things their users say. But it would not be possible for a small nonprofit like Signal to continue to operate within the United States. Tech companies and organizations may be forced to relocate and new startups may choose to begin in other countries instead. For a political body that devotes a lot of attention to national security, the implicit threat of revoking Section 230 protection from organizations that implement end-to-end -end encryption is both troubling and confusing. Signal is recommended by the United States military it is routinely used by senators and their staff. American allies in the EU are signal users too. End-to-end -end encryption is fundamental to the safety, security, and privacy considerations worldwide. Proponents of this bill are quick to claim that end-to-end -end encryption isn't the target. These arguments are disingenuous both because of the way that the bill is structured and the people who are involved. Rihanna Peffercorn, Associate Director of Surveillance and Cybersecurity at the Stanford Center 
for Internet and Society wrote a detailed breakdown of some of the myriad problems with this bill. She also astutely points out that the bill would give unprecedented power to Attorney General William Barr, a vocal critic of end-to-end encryption, who would become the arbiter of any recommendations from the Best Practices Commission that the Earn It Bill creates. It is as though, he writes, the big bad wolf, after years of unsuccessfully trying to blow the brick house down, has instead introduced a legal framework that allows him to hold the three little pigs criminally responsibility for being delicious and destroy the house anyway. When he is asked about this behavior, the big bad wolf can credibly claim that nothing in the bill mentions huffing or puffing or the application of forceful breath to a brick-based domicile at all. But the end goal is still pretty clear to any outside observer. And Josh concludes with an it's not too late message. He says, as billions of conversations transition online over the coming weeks and months, the widespread adoption of end-to-end encryption has never been more vital to national security and the privacy of citizens in countries around the world. Bad people will always be motivated to go the extra mile to do bad things. If easy-to-use software like Signal somehow became inaccessible, the security of millions of Americans, including elected officials and members of the armed forces, would be negatively affected. Meanwhile, criminals would just continue to use widely available but less convenient software to jump through hoops and keep having encrypted conversations. He finishes, there is still time to make your voice heard. We encourage U.S. citizens to reach out to their elected officials and express their opposition to the Earn It Bill. You can find contact information for your representatives using the Electronic Frontier Foundation's Action Center. He finishes, stay safe, stay inside, stay encrypted. I have a full link to the EFF site, but I created one of my shortcuts for this purpose, grc.sc slash earnit, E-A-R-N-I-T. That just bounces you easily to that EFF page where you can use it to look up your representative and, uh, and send them your feelings about the idea of this legislation going forward. Ultimately, it is up to us to keep this from happening. Uh, uh, it, it just really is uh, an amazingly slimy end around legislation. Uh, it, we have to prevent this from happening. With any luck, <clears throat> uh, it won't happen this year. And maybe we'll have different uh, administration next year. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I, th- I really do think it's bar. Although, boy, you know, you got Diane Feinstein who's always hated encryption. Dick Blumenthal. Yes, yes, who, you're who, right. It's not just yeah. Republicans; no. it's Democrats are like Blumenthal. Blumenthal's behind it too. Ironically, he, he's, he's the co-sponsor of the I bill. I know he claims it doesn't uh, prevent encryption, which either is naive or disingenuous. I can't figure out which. He's uh, recently he said something about how we had to have strong encryption, and I thought, well. Why are you sponsoring Earn It then? <laughs> yep. So I don't. He yep. may just be confused. Um. But it, yeah, it's, and a, they, it's and, a real and issue. I, I I didn't mention it again, but they always talk about protecting the children. Yeah, it's always it's about like, oh, children. Oh, cause okay, come on. That's the straw yeah. man, and you know, you st- it's either terrorists yep. or children, because they know that nobody is in favor of child abuse or terrorism. So it, they can paint any opponent. As being, oh, you must like child abuse or, or you must like terrorists instead of really debating the merits of it. Uh, and, well, and they don't want to do that because they know they lose. And as we know, Josh's argument that the bad guys will simply use something else right. is exactly correct. 
I mean, that's a, that is absolutely the, what will happen. Dumb guy, you know, I remember uh, back when we were doing the screensavers, for, for some reason the Secret Service thought that Patrick and I knew something about it, technology or whatever, but they asked us to, to brief them. And I remember talking to them, and they said, look, you know, um, most criminals just get, just hand over the password eventually. <laughs> they don't, you know, most of them aren't that sophisticated, or if they are, they confess, they give up. It's really rare that you get somebody who uh, is just not going to, you know, is going to be able to. But those guys you're never going to get because th the math is out there. Uh, yep. Remember, they finally released the child pornographer, the guy who had a ton of child pornography in his hard drive. On his hard drive. And he wouldn't. Yep. Wouldn't exactly. give up the password. And the judge finally said, you can't keep it. Can't, can't hold this guy. Sorry. Um, so I don't know. Yep. I don't know. The earn it is not clearly has nothing to do with child abuse. It has everything to do with encryption.